Okay, folks, here's a quick review of the classic Iron Man figure that was produced by Hasbro as part of the Iron Man Marvel Legends line of products. I picked this up at Walmart for $14.99. This figure is part of the Ironmonger Build-A-Figure collection series. When I first got the figure out of its blister pack, I liked its overall appearance. This is what I remember Iron Man looking like when I first saw him in a guest role with the other Avengers on the Captain America cartoon show when I was growing up years and years ago uh, during the storyline when Captain America was first recovered in an ice flow by the other Avengers. Now, oddly enough, there were no peg holes in his feet for a figure stand. And as I said, when I reviewed the Iron Patriot figure from this line, this was, in my opinion, a big mistake on Hasbro's part to do, as I prefer being able to use a figure stand to try to cut down on a figure falling off of my shelf and possibly breaking upon impact. Okay, articulation joints uh, for, were, for the most part, pretty good. Um, the shoulder, wrist, hip, and ankle joints worked pretty well, but I had a problem moving the elbows, the mid-torso, and the knees. His head can also tilt back quite a bit, and that will allow you to capture some good flying action poses. Paint apps were thankfully pretty nicely done on this figure. And I say thankfully because I've seen other classic Iron Man figures in stores that have had just absolutely horrendous paint apps, particularly in the facial area. On my figure, um, the only paint app problem that I found was some minor chipping on his right hip. So let me pause here, zoom in, and I'll give you a closer look as to what classic Iron Man looks like. Okay. Alright, Classic Iron Man comes with one accessory, and he also comes with a piece of the Ironmonger Build-A-Figure. So let me pan down real quick and I'll show you what the, those things look like. Okay, first up, here is his alternate head accessory. Swapping heads on this figure is easily done. Although it is a bit of a challenge to get the rounded head sculpt on as opposed to the horned head sculpt. And personally, I prefer the figure with the rounded head sculpt, so that's how I'm going to be displaying them on my shelf. Alright, next up, here is the uh, piece of the Ironmonger build a figure uh, that comes bundled in the package, the right leg. And it looks like it has a double knee joint and an ankle joint. All right, back to the figure itself. What I'll do now is a quick 360 of the classic Iron Man and let you see what he looks like from all sides. So here he is from the front. From the left. Here he is from the rear. Okay, here he is from the right hand side. Finally, here we are once again from the front. So overall, yes, I, I like this figure. Um, it's good to see a rendition of Iron Man available that looked as I remember him from my youth. Paint apps uh, were for the most part well done. The only problems that I ran into were with the elbow, mid-torso, and knee joints, but I'm confident those will eventually free up with repeated movements, but as it is right now, it's a little bit on the hard side to uh, pose this figure. And one of the biggest complaints that I do have about this uh, Iron Man figure is that I don't like that I can't use a figure stand with him. So, um, therefore, I, I'm, I'm going to have to give this figure a good bordering on great recommendation. Uh, in spite of the problems that I ran into, uh, I still think it is, uh, it's a good addition for your Marvel Legends or Iron Man collection. Okay, so on that note, take care and stay tuned for my next review. Have a good one.